While the original Kmart company saw its earliest form in 1899, it wasn't until 1962 that the first Kmart would open in Garden City, Michigan, after undergoing several other brand names, including the SS Kresge Company. Kmart, having a relatively long history in Cheyenne, also much longer than the history of Walmart in Cheyenne, opened the first of its Cheyenne Kmart locations in 1971. This was just a couple blocks from the now thriving Pershing Marketplace, and also down the street from the Cole Shopping Center, which was thriving by this point in time, quite unlike its current state. Cheyenne's first Kmart was one of Cheyenne's earliest forms of larger scale retail chains to move into the city with Safeway and the Cole Shopping Center opening less than five years sooner. In fact, much unlike the current state of the building as the Jonah Business Center, the Kmart never used the glass walling even though the curvy building to the left was also not in existence. It is actually an add-on for a local hardware store. The original Kmart building actually used the style of the building that Fort Collins had and also using the style and relative location of the garden center at the Loveland Big Kmart. Kmart would actually open a second location in Cheyenne, Wyoming, coincidentally just two years after Casper's second Kmart opened, building the store on the northwestern edge of Cheyenne when the area was really starting to take off. In that same year, the section that currently houses the Smart Sports was also built, along with the Frontier Mall which was just two miles away, including Sears, Jocelyn's, JCPenney, and a couple other mall anchors, original mall anchors. Even the building currently housing the Albertsons a few blocks away was already built. Sure enough, the whole north area of Cheyenne would see a boom in the 80s, with stores like Target and Petco and restaurants like Dairy Queen rising out of the ground. Perhaps this is why they decided to open the Del Range Kmart in 1991. Based on research, this specific location opened in July 1991, neighboring the current Sam's Club, Walmart, and Petco. And while it was a 90s build, it actually looked like an 80s Kmart using the Series 37 building. From my understanding, the original Kmart near the Cole Shopping Center mentioned earlier actually relocated to this location. Sadly, before the 2000s, Cheyenne's second Kmart would also shutter its doors, leaving the building vacant until the mid to late 90s when Sutherlands took over. For whatever reason for which I've never understood, this Sutherlands was actually the one store in Cheyenne that was documented a couple of times in video format. Not as a tour, but just different weird videos inside of the store. It'll be linked down in the description. Both of the videos actually show off what pretty much the whole store looked like. Unlike Sutherlands, there is a sufficient lack of photos and videos of the Del Range Kmart with only about four pictures ever taken inside, at least there online. So if you have pictures or videos of this store or similar stores, I encourage you to comment down below. It just so happens that the very same month which Cheyenne's third Kmart opened, Super Kmart would also start plotting locations throughout the US, the first one in Medina, Ohio. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I mention this because Wyoming is one of the few states not lucky enough to ever have had a Super Kmart, and this is perhaps due to the challenge of starting new brands in Wyoming, like Montana and Nebraska, the inevitability of change is discouraged, and therefore businesses often must pay extremely high fees to open new stores in states like these. Maybe this is why tax rates in these states are generally overall lower than other states, but this is my opinion so only take it with a grain of salt. Perhaps it also has to do with the fact that Cheyenne's the biggest city in Wyoming with at only 50,000, so that could also be a reason why there is never a Super Kmart. Remember Sears, which I mentioned earlier? Well, the thing is, Sears started the Sears Grand Stores modernistic and much larger scale versions of Sears stores beginning in 2003, and in that same year, the all well known and powerful Eddie Lamfart Kmart chairman had control over more than half of the Kmart Corporation. And just a year later, in 2004, in part due to his interest in those Sears Grand Stores, Kmart would merge with Sears, buying out the company and switching the main company name to Sears Holdings Corporation. This is something that many people get wrong, and while it didn't cause much trouble for the Cheyenne Big Kmart and Sears, it was likely one of the earliest indicators the end of Kmart and Sears and Cheyenne, as well as the rest of Wyoming. To no surprise at this point, Sears Grand would also have never stepped foot inside of Wyoming, and of course these stores were pretty well killed off after the merger anyway. Even though some of the Kmarts were converted to Sears Grand, most of them either converting back or being abandoned. 
The Del Range Kmart was one of these stores to be converted to a big Kmart in the late 90s, bringing the store to what I knew it as a young lad. I estimate that it officially remodeled around 1998 or 1999, as Cheyenne's first Circuit City was actually built right next door barging up against the wall uh, of the Kmart. While I do have memories of visiting this Circuit City, I unfortunately do not recall too much due to its closure in 2009, long before I was even in high school. Oddly enough, however, this Circuit City became an IBM C college, a for-profit college which relocated from its old location neighboring a Cheyenne gas station. To no surprise to me, it closed its doors permanently only about a year or so before the neighboring big Kmart would close in the spring of 2018, which was also a year after the Super Kmart stores were either downsized to regular Kmarts or shuttered. It's really hard to say if Kmart Cheyenne would even be in existence today had it not relocated from Pershing, especially with Butchery's, now Albert's has to open today, as well as the Cole Shopping Center beginning to completely fail. On the contrary, I've had several people say that they were surprised they even stayed open as long as it did. This was definitely not a good sign to the rest of the Kmart's and Sears stores in Wyoming. Let me explain. Sears and Cheyenne would also shutter its doors not even a year later in January 2018. This was unfortunate for me because I know I love going there for getting frames for my eyeglasses. I recall them emptying out their vision clinic in 2017, resulting in me in going somewhere else for my frames that year. Furthermore, many other stores in Wyoming were actually closed or already beginning to close up shop. In early 2019, both the Sears and Kmart and Casper would close, and today only one Kmart actually remains in Wyoming, specifically the Jackson, Wyoming location, which is also now scheduled to liquidate and shutter its doors by February 2020, leaving Wyoming without any Kmart stores and only a handful of Sears hometown stores, which are frankly very hard to say whether they are even open right now or not. No joke either, Giant Sears Auto Center still shows is open, so it's really hard to say without attempting to contact these stores. On the flip side, Hobby Lobby actually bought the former Kmart building with plans to renovate and split the store in half. The entire store was practically gutted, with only the garden center displaying much of a dead giveaway that Kmart once stood there, Hobby Lobby opening its new location in 2018 since emptying out the other Cheyenne store. Earlier this year, I visited the Spirit Halloween that took over the vacant half of the Kmart, and most of that part was also gone too, with the exception of the gray plastic covers around the posts, as well as the markers on the posts which Kmart added while it was still in business. Hobby Lobby has also taken over many other Kmarts, including the one in Gillette and Casper's original Kmart location. Not too coincidentally, Cheyenne's second former Kmart, also now former Sutherlands, was being renovated for the Wyoming Workforce Department. Even more, the Sears was being renovated for a jacked outdoor gear, a family-owned, western-themed store. Since the renovation of the big Kmart on Del Range, now Hobby Lobby, as well as the opening of Jack's, the parking lots have seen way more traffic in both the parking lots than either store saw in their last couple of years live in Cheyenne, proving that Kmart and Sears had long since lost their dominance in the suffering retail industry. For now, Wyoming's four nearest stores outside of the state are as follows. Loveland, Colorado, Hamilton, Montana, Pueblo, Colorado, and Kalispell, Montana. Those are distances from the border, specifically not the center of Wyoming. And unfortunately, the Pueblo and Kalispell locations are also now closing soon. While there aren't any regular Sears stores in Wyoming anymore, there's still one Sears Grand in Thornton, Colorado, which hasn't been scheduled for closure or liquidation, and I'd encourage you to visit it soon. It wouldn't surprise me if it ends up on the next closing list, considering how wide the aisles were, as well as other factors. While there is a Sears in Fort Collins, it is only an appliance store, downsized and moved to a standalone location on the Foothill Mall property, which was mostly rebuilt in 2015 or so as a modernized mall, which was also when Sears lost their original store. Many will argue that stores like Walmart, Sam's Club, Target, and others are at fault for Kmart's failure, but in reality, it's hardly the case. Having other competitors gain more control over the economy definitely added a challenge, but it didn't help that a selfish guy whose only goal is to profit had control of the company. He is arguably one of the reasons Kmart and their Sears stores look something pulled out of an 80s or 90s movie scene completely unrenovated. 
It certainly didn't help their online store capabilities either, resulting in other companies like Walmart and Amazon dominating those markets as well. These days, it's hard to even find two Kmarts within 100 miles of each other. Many states are already left without Kmarts, including South Dakota and Nebraska. If your state is missing a Kmart, leave a comment below. Even with regular Sears stores are in serious decline, one of the most recent Sears closures being in St. Peter's, Missouri, along with many other locations, the St. Peter's store being one I heard a lot about. As sad as a situation as this is, and also as hard as it is to accept, it's not very likely at this point that Kmart will even be in existence one year from now, with, with less than 50 Kmart locations remaining after February 2020, and while many including myself will dearly miss this stores, I truly think overall this store probably should have been put out of its misery a long, long time ago.